The death of a Chicago dance teacher has a lot of people talking about safety at railroad crossings tonight. Up next, what we've learned about the company that maintains the crossing where Katie Lunn was killed. Don't blame us. That's what top executives of the Canadian National Railway told federal regulators today in Washington regarding lengthy delays at railroad crossings due to the company's trains. The railway executives were summoned to the nation's capital to explain why they reported just 14 delays of 10 minutes or more during the months of November and December. Auditors said that the real number was 1,400. Canadian National said that the discrepancy occurred because the railway believed it was only expected to report blockages when trains were completely stopped. Meantime, Canadian National is under fire tonight for its safety practices. Eleven days ago, a crossing accident took the life of a Chicago dance instructor. Our investigative reporter Larry Yellen has uncovered two prior accidents involving the same railway. Federal investigators looking into the accident which killed 26-year-old Katie Lunn are focusing on human error. Canadian National Railway admits warning signals were not working. Investigators are examining whether the signals were turned off without telling the oncoming Amtrak train. Chicago attorney Tim Cavanaugh, who obtained multi-million dollar awards against Canadian National for two previous crossing accidents, says Canadian National has a history of communication problems starting with an accident 12 years ago. It was clearly human error. You know, we took the deposition of the uh, dispatcher. He forgot to radio ahead to the engineer. In 1998, Canadian National's Homewood Dispatch Center received this call, informing a dispatcher that a warning gate was down. We have a broken gate that is lying by the side of the road. About an hour later, a car crossing the tracks was hit broadside. Kavanaugh's client, a passenger in the car, suffered brain damage and other serious injuries. The railway settled the case for $9.1 million. In his second case involving Canadian National, Kavanaugh alleged their dispatchers were aware that gates were malfunctioning, but mistakenly informed an approaching train the gates had been fixed. The train came by at over 50 miles an hour, struck the SUV, pushed it 900 feet down the tracks, and uh, my client sustained horrible brain injuries. This second case led to settlements totaling $55 million against Canadian National. After the Katie Lunn accident, Canadian National issued a statement saying it was conducting a complete investigation into that accident. A spokesperson tonight would not discuss these earlier cases, Jeff. You'd think with the earlier cases that Canadian National would have fixed this stuff by now. Well, Kavanaugh says, number one, they should have implemented more training procedures. Where you've got communication problems, you have training issues. And he says their people should be past the point where they're not communicating with each other on issues like this. Secondly, he says all of the railroads need to implement what's called a positive train control system. It's a computerized system, which would, it's kind of like an automatic pilot. The railroads would stop, would get a, the engineer would get a signal if there was something on the track in front of him or the computer would automatically stop the train before a collision or if the rail the signals were malfunctioning. The railroads are required to put those in by about five years from now, December of 2015. They were supposed to submit their plans a month ago and haven't. Uh, some of them have, uh, but they're still working toward yeah, that goal. Yeah, something's got to be done. Yeah. Thank you, Larry Yellen.